So as you can see from the title of this video, it's all about taking a fraction and multiplying it now by a mixed number. Let's go right to an example. There's your fraction, two-thirds, times your mixed number, two and one-fourth. We always have to remind ourselves that the multiplication sign means groups of. But if you say two-third groups of two and one-fourth, that sounds a little bit weird. So we're going to simplify it by saying two-thirds of two and one-fourth. Now, in the past, we've talked about four different ways to multiply, and here they are. Uh, you can use repeated addition, the number line, area model, or the multiplication smart cut. And if you watched a couple of videos before, you might already know that two of these, one of these definitely does not work, and that's repeated addition. And the other one that doesn't, that's, that's a little too complicated, uh, and, and the, uh, is the number line. So... For this video today, we're not going to do repeated addition, and we're not going to use the number line. Instead, we're going to start with the area model. So now, I want you to think, how many boxes, how many holes do you think I need to put on the screen in order to accurately represent two-thirds times two and one-fourth? Why don't you put one hole up there? Do you think that's enough to represent two-thirds times two and one-fourth? Call it out. Okay, if you don't think it's enough, how about two? Yes or no, call it out. No, you're right. Two isn't enough either, because what am I going to do with two and one-fourth? I need to get another hole in there, and that's going to be enough. First thing I'm going to do, uh, let's do two and one-fourth across the top. That's one hole, two holes, and now, since we're dealing with one-fourth, how many equal pieces do I need to cut this hole up into? Call it out, please. Four is correct, and because it's one-fourth, how many jumps do I need to make? One jump. So we're going to split into four equal pieces, do one jump, and that whole thing there is going to be two and one-fourth. Cool. Now, two-thirds. Going along this side. If it's two-thirds, how many equal pieces do I need to cut this up into? Call it out, please. Oh, I keep on forgetting. we got to make sure we extend this line and this line all the way through. Now back to two-thirds. How many equal pieces? Three is right. How many jumps are we going to make? Two is right. And that's two-thirds. Let's not forget to extend those lines. So now, we are very close to finishing this up. With two and one-fourth times two-thirds, can you please point on the screen to the different places that need to be shaded in? Because we're not shading in this whole thing. Based off of the brackets that you'd see, point to what you would shade in. Did you point to this one? This one, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Did you point to any more? No, you shouldn't have. Those are all of the pieces that need to be shaded in. And already, you've noticed that they are different sizes, and that's not something you're used to. We got the grande pieces over here, the pequeños over here. So now, let's talk first about the grande pieces. Look at this as one whole. Remember, that's what we started with, one whole. What fraction should those bigger pieces be worth? Just one of these shaded uh, big pieces. How much should it be worth? Call it out. One third is right, which means that's one third, that's one third, and that's one third. Let's talk about the little pieces. Take a look at our hole. It's right here. How much should this one little piece be worth? Call it out, please. One twelfth is right, which means that's one twelfth as well. Now, all we need to do is add all these up together, and we'll get what two and one fourth times two thirds is. But before we do that, we always want to figure out if we can redistribute, which is a fancy word for saying move some of this stuff around, move some of these pieces around to make a whole. Can you point to a piece that you could redistribute someplace to make a whole? I'm thinking of this one right here. I could take this piece and throw it right in there, and if I do that, I've made myself a hole. Is there any other redistributing that I could do to make a hole? Go ahead, call it out. No, there isn't. Okay, this is all these three pieces left aren't enough to put together to make a hole. So now we have to add all this up together. We got the one, one third over here, and then how many twelfths do we have? Two twelfths is right. So we add them all up. Now, right now, 
Uh, all these fractions do not speak the same. That's right, language. So we need to make them all speak the same language. Why don't you call out what do you think an appropriate language uh, for one third and two twelfths to speak is? Go ahead, call it out. Yeah, I was thinking twelves as well. You could do three times four and then do the same to the bottom as you do to the top, one times four, and you've created an equivalent fraction. And now we can add these up. What's one whole plus four twelfths plus two twelfths? Go ahead and call it out. Yeah, it's one and six twelfths, uh, which many of you all can reduce in your head down to one and a half. Okay, so two thirds of two and one fourths is one and a half. That's the area model way. The second way, with, which we've seen before, is the multiplication smart cut. Let's take a look at our problem again. Two thirds times two and one fourth. Now, we know the smart cut with multiplication is about shoot, shoot, reduce, but you have to do something to the mixed number first. Go ahead and whisper to your neighbor, what do we have to do to the mixed number first? Go ahead, do it now. Okay, did you mention something about making this an improper fraction? If you did, you're right. First step, we do four times two, which is what? Call it out. Then we add one, eight plus one, call it out. That's nine, correct. And then dumb denominators, copy, great, which means we have nine fourths. We keep the stuff on the left. And now, because we made it an improper fraction, we could just shoot, shoot. So two times nine gives you, and three times four gives you. That's 18 over 12. And you can do get off my back if you know that strategy, or you can count by 12 twelfths. You are going to end up getting one and six twelfths, which is the same as one and one half. So to review quickly, the multiply a fraction times a mixed number, area model is great, and the multiplication smart cut is great as well. As always, thank you for listening. Please give a call if you have any questions.